All right, Dylan from Throttle Company in Columbus, Ohio here. We're talking about a 1973 Moto Guzzi V7 Sport. Meet him. Now, if you follow along with us and our dealership, Throttle Company, in Columbus, Ohio, which I guess I just said, but we do modern Moto Guzzi. So one of the, it's not the flagship, if you will, but a bike that they still make, essentially, is a V7. Now, this is called the V7 Sport, and the V7 started in the late 60s, and then became sort of this second version of it is the V7 Sport. But the one that we have now, which we just call the V7, really is the modern version of this bike, the V7 Sport. Something that you notice is it is Cafe Racer, it is leaned over. Obviously, maybe I should just take a step back and talk about the paint. We've been standing here next to it, so I've gotten used to the paint, but this paint scheme, the bright green tank, that's very Moto Guzzi. This is an iconic paint scheme for them, but the red paint on the frame was meant to highlight that this was the first bike with the Tonti frame. And uh, basically, it's a new way of manufacturing. The frame gets the, w gets the weight really low. The tubing was all a lot of straight tubing, so it made it easy to manufacture. Um, but an iconic frame, which they basically made up until the um, kind of mid-2010s, they still were making bikes with a frame based on this frame. So uh, something that they, I noticed they pointed out on the paper is they had these broken fins on, this, on the head over here, which I never would have noticed, so it's, I really appreciate them pointing that out. Another thing that you notice is that the carbs must have just been recently replaced because they have the choke, you can see it on this side, but, but this cable's not connected, that's something I noticed. But that's probably a good, a good sign that the, car, that the carbs are brand new. Uh, what I was gonna point out was it's Cafe Racer, it's leaned over, it is called the Sport. But see these clip-ons, clip on way down here. So you could lift this up if, you know, you're getting older, you don't want to lean over as much. You could probably add another three, four inches to that riding position and make it a little bit more comfortable. But overall, this bike looks fantastic. It's pretty rare. It is. It does have that cool modern, they still make this essentially a version of this bike. Something that Moto Guzzi's always done so well, and you're maybe kind of zooming in on it here, Zach, but the heads, how they have Moto Guzzi and it's highlighted with red. Uh, there's cool little touches that you sort of always notice the more you look right up here on the dash. It says Moto Guzzi, this is like a raised embossed. It's not just a sticker or something. Um, the V7 Sport on the side, the iconic eagle. This shark fin, shark gill, I guess it would be more, but the, that's such a cool, and in my mind, very like 70s, very stylistic. Moto Guzzi's philosophy to me is just like they know they got it right, so they just make their own choices of the way they would do it. They don't really care that no one was doing shark gill exhaust at the time. But a very cool bike. I'm very excited to see what it goes for at the auction. Mika.